Hi there, my name's Pak, and welcome to Mobile World Congress 2025, where I'm presenting how to create AI agents on conversational agents, part of the customer engagement suite provided by Google Cloud. Let's get started. So, you want to build an agent. How do you start? You have four choices, and they're up there on the screen behind me. There are two on the left and two on the right. On the left-hand side, you will see we have agent space, which is for internal productivity, and then we have conversational agents, the product I'll be showing you here today. On the right-hand side, we have two other products made for developers where you can use open source frameworks and then deploy them securely on Vertex AI. And I won't be showing those today, but they are Vertex Agent Favorite and Agent Engine. Now, let's go a little bit deeper into conversational agents and how they work. So, what kind of agents can you build on conversational agents? For 2025, we are going to be blending the possibility to build deterministic agents and generative agents all in the same console. So, classically with Dialogflow, you could build deterministic agents with intents and training phrases. And customers have had a lot of success with this kind of agents, A, because they work very well, they always respond in a very, in a very normal way that you can control. That is, when you ask it to respond in a specific way, it always responds in the same way. But with complex conversations, your bots can get very complex as well. With generative agents, you can control and handle much more complex conversations and also have a lot more to handle all these customer digressions that you might not be able to handle in a deterministic agent. But we want you to get the best of both worlds because we have customers that already have an investment in these deterministic agents and now want to adopt generative. So how do we do that? Inside the console, you can blend the two. And this is where we see a lot of customers get a lot of success by actually blending both of those features together in their agents on the conversational agents platform. So let's have a look at some of these use cases. Firstly, we can transform customer engagement. You can start to think about how you can get 100% of all of your customer interactions handled by AI before you have to give them to a customer agent, support agent. You can start automating your conversations and tasks. What we mean by this is, previously, you might have had some conversations that were too complex, that you weren't able to encode inside a deterministic flow. But now, with generative AI, you can encode that inside instructions and let generative AI and Gemini handle that for you. Because it's now all generative, it makes it a lot easier to build your agent. You can use generative AI to basically give instructions and goals in natural language and have Gemini handle the conversation for you. Finally, because some of these conversations are much more complex, you can deliver exceptional experiences. Expect that you can reduce your average handling time, plus also handle much more complex use cases that you weren't able to handle before. I'm just going to stop there. Do you want to do a focus check? I've moved slightly forward. Is it okay? Okay. I'm going to talk you through an example of how to build your first agent with conversational agents. Up here is an example of building an agent. And you can see here, the instructions and the goal are all in natural language, in English. My references to the tool are all in line, in natural language. There's no code, there's no Python. I just make all my references directly in line inside the console, and I can interact with that agent. There are a whole bunch of other features that come out of the box with conversational agents that allow you to build grounded agents that can handle your enterprise scenarios. Let me go through them one by one. Firstly, we provide out-of-the-box agents and connectors, that is, pre-built agents that show you how to build some of these agents, as well as connectors to systems such as Salesforce, so that you can get grounded information to help your agents answer, say, for example, service scenarios. We can also ground it in data by including it in tool calls, and tools that you might want to build to, say, some of your back-end systems, such as for example, a CRM system or an order management system. You can define your interfaces, 
with open API specs, with Swagger, and then reference them like we have here as a tool. Finally, once you've defined your agent, you can then test it in the simulator, you can deploy it, and then monitor it by seeing all the conversational history right inside the console. There are two kind of scenarios that really you want to be doing with conversational agents. And the first one is helping your customers find information, so informational scenarios, then helping your customers get things done, right? Transactional scenarios. And so in order to find information and get answers fast, we have data stores. Data stores are our managed RAG product where we've provided basically a whole bunch of the updates in 2024 and now for 2025 to improve the performance of it. So you can provide your documents, whether they be on your exam, on your website, or in say a GCS bucket, or via one of our connectors. We will index all of that information, create the embeddings, create the Vexor store, and then in real time, based on the query, find relevant documents, pull back all of that information, and then create the right response back to your customer to get them the answers they need in real time. For transactional use cases, you can create tools to your backend systems so that based on customers wanting to get information, we can then call the right tool, call your backend system, such as, for example, a CRN system or an order management system to create orders, to get order status, to help your customers get things done. So, if you want to use our product, how do you get this done? The kind of five steps. The first one is get your initial prompt done. Then you want to ground it with data, add your tools in to make it do useful stuff, and then harden it. And then you evaluate and you repeat it. So how do you start prompting? So here's an example agent here. I'm going to meta prompt it in AI Studio. And what's meta prompting? Meta prompting is getting Gemini to prompt Gemini. And why does this work? It's because Gemini generally produces a prompt, at least to start with, that is much better than human generated prompt. So this is generally the point to start. And you can see here, I'm going to build this demo agent, right? And I'm getting Gemini to create the actual prompt. I'm just copying and pasting it into conversational agents. And then I interact with it. And then right away, the agent is working. Amazing. Now I need to ground it with data. Well, you can use one of our out of the box tools, such as a data store, to index a website. And you create, provide your website URLs, will create the website index, and then you can reference it inside the instructions, and then based on the query, we'll get the data from your relevant data from your website, build the response back, and then respond back to your customer with a grounded response. We do a whole bunch of other things that are evaluated when we use this out-of-the-box feature, such as a query rewrite, query grounding, it's a safety check to make sure that the response you get back is not just relevant, but also safe. So have a look at that feature, it's called data stores if you want to build an informational agent. Then finally, you might want it to do useful stuff. So over here is an example of a connectors feature where I want to connect it, say, with Salesforce. So I, in the console, I select the connectors feature. I then select the specific integration connector, in this case, Salesforce. I get detailed documentation on how to use that feature, as well as the wizard to set up the secure connection. There's no code to set up the connector. You just set it up inside the wizard and you're good to go. And then finally, you can harden your agent. There are a couple of ways to do this. Firstly, you can choose to use a deterministic flow if you want to. Secondly, you can use custom handlers or code blocks, which are in preview, which can allow you to basically, and will be released really soon, to deterministically respond inside the generative agent to specific scenarios or events that happen. This is also a great way for you to scaffold your agent by building, I guess, tools or basically, uh, I guess, mocked tools to verify that Gemini and the runtime can work well with your agent before you actually do the implementation with your backend system such as Salesforce. This can also help you verify that you have all the right data points, all the right data format, so that you can, when you do actually do make the investment to build your connector, you know exactly how to build it and know that it'll work. Okay, I've given you a five minute tour around the product. It's been really quick, I know. 
But thank you for listening. This is Conversational Agents, part of Customer Engagement Suite, running on Google Cloud, bringing to you all of our innovations on Gemini to your customers in customer service scenarios. Thanks a lot for listening.